Hey, yo, this is your boy, Mr. Mac. What's going on, man? Um, on this video right here, we're going to talk about um, this current thing about child support, man, and not people getting paid. You know, the, the fucked up thing about this shit is that when you think about all the fathers and parents who's out here who are working, was paying their child support. Yeah, they may have been by behind, but you know, so I ain't talking about the ones who ain't paying the child support, the deadbeat fathers, the ones who ain't paid in years. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the fathers who paid their child support and the mothers who've been paying child support and maybe got behind, but they still was paying it and working, then got laid off. Now, you know, because the government wants to screw you, and I mean, they put a big F you on there. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't deserve to eat and pay your bills now because you're not you don't qualify for the thousand dollars. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because if they didn't lose their jobs, they wouldn't be currently in this situation right now. Because they was working paying that child support. But now because they was my old child support, oh you figure that they don't deserve to eat? Come on, really? What is this? A third world country? What's this? The Philippines or something, man? Y'all what what's this? For you to say that and then pass the law to say that these type people don't deserve to eat? Man, that's... I am so blessed that, you know, uh, because I'm in that situation. That's why I can talk from that. Because I'm in that current situation of not, you know, but lucky I'm still working. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed I'm still working because, you know, I would be very upset. You know, I, I didn't expect to get $1,000 anyway, but still... It's just the fact that if I was not working and I'm paying my bills, now you put me in a situation that how am I going to pay my bills? Because you don't think I deserve to get that money because I owe back child support? When I'm currently paying on back child support? That's crazy to me. That's crazy. Because there's a lot of people, man, like include my brother, who's in that situation that, you know, he got behind the child support, but he was paying on it. And now you telling him that he can't pay, he can't get the thousand dollars because, oh, he has bad child support. This is America. You know what I'm saying? You know, they one hand they want to hit one man in the hand, they want to help you. Then with the other hand, they want to slap you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a slap in the face to a lot of people who you know what I'm saying was looking forward to that money. A lot of people out here hungry, can't pay their feed their kids or, or whatever the situation may be, or even a single father who's trying to uh, pay his bills, you know what I'm saying, and, and maintain too. Now you're telling him that he can't even pay his bills? You know what I'm saying? He can't even, he can't even get that money? Because everybody's not getting unemployment. I mean, yeah, you know, even Timmy, even though Timmy people have filed for unemployment, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean nothing. Because if unemployment does the same thing that y'all doing, that person's screwed. That person is screwed. Because they ain't got nothing else coming in. And y'all telling them they don't deserve to get no money. Come on, Congress. Come on, America. What, what, what's this? That is some bullshit. <laughs> For real. Y'all trying to say, man. You know, I don't want to make this a cursing video, but you know, there's just sometimes you just got to call it what it is because you just, just can't be screwing over people and thinking that it's cool because they got something against them. these. I'm not talking about people who not paying jobs, but I'm not talking about the people who are, you know, saying or, uh, delinquent to the fact that they're sitting in jail. I'm not talking about to those people who, you know, I'm talking about the people who work, who are out there trying to make pay their bills and maintain a life. So, and then you taking away that because of some child support. That's not that's that right there is wrong, man. That's just wrong because that person or that father or that mother don't deserve that because because it's not their fault that they lost a the job. You know what I'm saying? I can understand. I can understand. Back in 2008, when that happened, because it happened to me back then, when the, the stimulus money came, I didn't get none of that. 
I didn't get none of that. I was upset because, you know, back then it helped me, hurt me because, you know what I'm saying, I was working and I lost my job because the economy crashed. And then to turn around and for the government to tell me, oh, well, well we can't give you no money because you, you owe child support. What? So I've been through that. So now here we are, you know, 2020 and the same thing's happening again. And instead of you saying, we're going to help all Americans, you're talking about screwing all. So where did their money go to? That's what I want to know. Where do that money go to? The money that, you know, saying that you are not wanting to give that person, where did their money go to? Did it go to the mother? Huh? Or do we go to, uh, is Congress keeping that money? Where? I, I like to know, where is that money going to? Hmm? Since you want to screw, most of the time it's going to be a father who's, who's out here trying to pay his child support. Where did his money go to? Hmm? Because that, there's a brother right now probably sitting there going, damn, how am I going to make it? There's a white man out there going, damn, how am I going to make it? You know what I'm saying? There's an Asian man out there going, damn, how am I going to make it? Cause you cut me out because I'm not working now. And now you telling me I can't, I, I, I disqualify because, oh, I got behind a child support that may or may not be a fault of my own. Yeah, that's just, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. But anyway, I, I feel for you brothers out there. I feel for you, your mothers out there. I feel for you families out there that, you know, just, just that having a hard time, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I can do is pray for you. Keep your head up. Maybe, you know, this virus in soon, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah. But anyway, peace. We're going to figure this out.